everyone welcome back to my channel diamonds and washi my name is katie and today i have a sneak peek unboxing of one of diamond art club's new releases this weekend thanks to diamond art club for sending this over the kit i have to share with you guys today is called night portal this is by yasu art studios or yasu matsuoka and this is gonna have square shaped diamonds 65 by 92 centimeters and i have to be honest with you guys this artwork is speaking to my soul in a way that I was not totally expecting. I really, really, really am drawn to this artwork and I'm really excited to take a look at the canvas and what it's going to look like. So this kit along with the other new releases are going to be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, March 16th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. If you're in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you do get a half an hour early access window, which you can either um, access through an email they'll send out, or if you're logged into your account at that early release time, you should see it under the new arrivals section. As far as what you're going to see on the box, we do have this blue branding, which you'll see with their square drill diamond painting kits. On the back, there's some information about how to diamond paint <laughs> and the craft itself. Here are your kit contents written out for you. And then down here is a QR code you can scan for 10% off your purchase. If you're brand new to Diamond Art Club and thinking of making your first purchase, I do have a 20% off discount code that you're welcome to use. It is an affiliate code and it's my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Please don't feel obligated at all to use it though because like I said, it's an affiliate code and I may make a small commission and I'm gonna be totally transparent about that with you, of course. You're gonna see some other discount codes in this video and there are others that are floating around out there, I would just say, please take advantage of some sort of discount code. At this point, it, it's pretty clear that Diamond Art Club doesn't want you to pay full price for your orders. So where's that little sticker? Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay. So let's take a look. Here is your toolkit. Here's what the contents are going to be. It really is going to have everything you need to do your diamond painting. Diamond Art Club's toolkits are pretty comprehensive and have... A lot to them <laughs> and you are gonna get let me see here okay um, a pen and squishy the color on those will vary and then you'll also get some thin plastic multi-placers a four placer and a seven placer you can pop those into the end of your pen if you want to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time we've also got a pair of tweezers they're a bit pokey on the end so keep that cover on when you're not using those then we're gonna get some pink wax in this little caddy here. You just wanna make sure that you peel back that thin plastic film that's on there before you try to load up your pen. We have a tray that comes with, this is actually a tray stopper. You can pop in the end to stop the diamonds from sliding out while you're working. And then we also have a bag of baggies. So you can store your leftover diamonds in here if you like or kit up into them, uh, whatever you wanna use those for. <clears throat> We have a roll of washi tape, and I have a video dedicated to how, why, where, when, why, <laughs> how, where, when, and why I use washi tape when it comes to diamond painting. And you're welcome to take a look at that if you want some tips and thoughts. But the print on this will vary. And then we have a cover minder. And the style on this, there's a lot of different ones out there. It is random which one you'll get. And there are magnets on the back. You can use this to hold back the plastic cover while you're diamond painting if you like. And they just, they look really darn cute. So <laughs> that is your toolkit. And then Diamond Art Club also includes this smaller sticker. And I use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. I like that it has the original artwork and the title as well as some of the stats. Some people use this on the side of their box to help organize their stash a little bit better. Or you could find, you know, something else crafty to do with it if you like. Everything else will be here in this bag. Let's take a look. <clears throat> All right, I admit this is actually a bit bigger than I was expecting it to be when I first saw the artwork, um, but I'm guessing that it's gonna give us some really nice details. I bet in their faces and all the details on her armor. Oh my gosh, wow. I am just, I'm so taken with what I am seeing. Oh my gosh, these colors and the reflection, they're so warm. Oh, that's so, 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 so pretty. So we have kind of the reflection aspect at the bottom. We've even got like the little house, kind of a more contemporary modern house. And then the night portal on the other side we do have the night and there's kind of castle in the background some ships over here sailing 
and this really pretty like skyscape and scene. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was really not expecting to just look at this and be like, I I really love this. I mean, I, I really, really love the artwork. And like I said, it was very much speaking to me. It was calling my name. And um, I found myself even thinking about what are sort of the different um, things, like what is kind of the meaning of the artwork? What's the artist trying to convey? And I just, it's made me fall more in love with the artwork as I've thought about it. And seeing it in diamond painting form, I am just... Uh, I love, I'm really impressed and I'm, I'm really trying not to just, just say that. I, I mean it. Um, this is really pretty, you guys. Uh, let me show you. Okay, let me get back to kind of talking more about what was included in the kit. And if I have more thoughts on the artwork, we'll talk about it at the end. But what you're here for, there is a pamphlet that is going to have a thank you note on the front as well as uh, some notes about what's included in your kit again. A beginner video you can get to through this QR code. I'll also have one linked below if you're curious to see one that I've done. Uh, here's the VIP Facebook group, which you can join once you've made your first purchase. It's a, a nice resource. Some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you, and then some tips and tricks. Another discount code. And then these QR codes will take you to the mobile app, and you get 20% off your first purchase through the app. So, like I said, discount codes abound. <laughs> um, we also are going to get this larger sticker sheet. There you can see a, a larger look at this beautiful artwork and just here I'll go ahead and flip it if you want to see it from this angle that's so pretty you guys I'm in love it's so pretty okay so Night Portal by Iyasu Matsuoka and uh, aka Yasu Art Studios a spot to write your start and end date and then the stats over here we do have a set of pre-cut sticker labels. I like to kit up my diamonds into storage containers and being able to just peel these labels right off and put them on the containers is very handy and it goes really quickly. The color code you see in the right hand column here comes from the DMC color code system which is from the DMC brand of floss and um, most diamond painting companies do use this color code system but there are a couple of exceptions with Diamond Art Club that I do want to point out to you. First, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special drill type called an ABU, so it looks like we're going to have two of those in this kit. And then if you look at the end of the color code list, you'll sometimes see codes that have a letter at the beginning. In this case, we have three codes with the letter Z at the beginning, and those um, denote a fairy dust diamond color, and so we'll have three of those, and we'll have 63 total colors in this kit. I will show you those special drills and we'll talk more about them and I'll explain them once we get to actually looking at the diamonds. Um, but really quick, I am going to put a picture up here on the screen for you of the whole canvas and frame, just in case you were curious to see all of it, because, you know, I've got a lot of the, the main subject matter here in frame, but thought you might want to see the whole thing. Let me take you on a little tour of some of the elements of the canvas and the features. Um, all right, so... Up here at the top, we have their branding, Do It Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. You shouldn't have to worry about any fraying. And the back is really quite soft. Um, it's almost plush to the touch. And the fabric of the canvas itself holds diamonds really well and lays flat well. They have a clear plastic cover on here and a nice sticky poured glue. And this clear plastic cover does include one of their recently added features. If you take a look at where the light is hitting that, you can see kind of the lines there. This is one of the new perforated plastic covers and the sections, the full size sections are about four by four inches or 10 by 10 centimeters. I can't get that to quite catch the light right, um, but it's not wanting to focus. There we go, kind of. Okay, uh, you can either ignore those if you so choose or if you do want to use them, all you have to do is just Give it a tug and it'll split the perforated cover there. We do have a color list up here at the top left, as well as over here at the bottom right. And then if you look at the bottom left, you will see a thumbnail of the original artwork and then the title and the size and then copyright Yasuo Art, Studi art Studio and Diamond Art Club. I always point this out because it's important. I care about artists and, and uh, companies doing right by them. What this notes is that Diamond Art Club has legally licensed this artwork. That means that Yasu Art Studio has both given permission for the use of their artwork 
and is being fairly compensated for it. And that is the case with all of Diamond Art Club's kits. And that, like I said, that's really important to me and a lot of other crafters. Here we have their socials. That's where you want to stay up to date with their new releases and another discount code. And then here's a little bit of info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty. And you can see all the details on the website. And it covers things like if you run out of diamonds or have trouble with the kit, you can contact customer support and they will take you from there. I am seeing bits of um, color blocking and a bit of like line, like linear color blocking as well. Um, that's when you have kind of the same color in an area like this. You could probably multi-place your way through these areas a little bit if you wanted. This is a more classical example of color blocking where it's a bunch of the same color in a small area. You'll have that color in your tray for a bit longer. And like I said, be able to multi-place if you so choose. The opposite of color blocking is confetti. And I'll, I mean, there's kind of some in here, but I'm gonna find a better example to show you. But I am seeing, you know, some color blocking in various um, parts of this canvas so far. Actually, this is almost a, like a literal example of confetti in a way. Um, it looks like someone just kind of sprinkled this color throughout. And uh, confetti is when you do tend to have more color changes in a small area and maybe do a more single placing, maybe changing out the color in your tray a bit more often. It tends to take a little bit longer, but you tend to get a bit more detail when that's the case. Um, I'm excited to see what sorts of special drills are in these areas. I feel like, especially that glow of the actual kind of portal there, it's, I feel like it's just going to have special drills galore and I, I'm excited to see. So yeah, some of the details in the knight's armor here, we do have uh, a lot of what I would kind of consider confetti and that's going to hopefully lend us a lot of detail. The sprinkles over here. The printing on the canvas is really clear with the symbols. That's pretty consistent with my experience with Diamond Art Club kits. I don't usually have trouble reading the symbols. There is the face of our knight. And then there's a lot of color blocking up here, you guys, in the sky. So you'll be able to zip through a number of those areas. Just really warm colors. I, I really like that. It's very... Um, like it's almost cozy, but cozy is actually not a word I would use to describe this artwork exactly. So I'm not sure. I don't know. It feels magical, I guess. Uh, let me measure me measure this just to see if we are true to size. And we are at almost 92 centimeters. We're listed as 92. And then this way we are at um, 65 on the nose and we're listed as 65. So I'm going to call that true to size for sure. Let me grab the diamonds and we are going to take a look together and see this beautiful color spread a little bit more up close. There is a sticker on here that tells you what kit these go with in case you store these separate from the canvas. So let's take a look. All right, so there's that beautiful color spread. And I think we're looking at a lot of warm earth tones here, you guys. Now, these are square diamonds, like I mentioned. They have the DMC code printed on the bags and Diamond Art Club even includes this line underneath to tell you which way is right side up on those. Ooh, we have two bags of 106. This is our first special drill color. 106 is an AB diamond and AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And I feel like you can totally see that these diamonds have a little bit of extra to them. They have an iridescent coating on the top that is very bold. It's gonna catch your eye and really stunningly highlight the areas that it has been charted. So this kind of beigey ivory AB, two big bags of it. Um, I'm excited to see where that goes. <laughs> and yes, we will take a look together at the canvas and I will be sure to show you where the different special drills will be found. Here's our first fairy dust color, Z728. <clears throat> and if we take a look here, Let's see, you can see that glitter coating on the tops of these diamonds. And these have a more subtle effect than ABs do. They're definitely more of a shimmery effect. They are quite honestly my favorite special drill type that Diamond Art Club has. I love the subtlety of them a lot. And you'll see a lot of fairy dust in their you know, new releases. So that's our first one. It's kind of a peachy color. And again, we're back to some earth tones. Peaches, beiges, even these like earthy purples. Uh, so Diamond Art Club does put their diamonds here in these strands in order of weight as opposed to DMC color code order. 
that can be handy when you're kitting up because you can kind of go from you know largest containers to smaller if you have you know different sizes of container but that's just an fyi and they come in these heat sealed bags so you will have to cut them open and put them you know either into resealable bags or some kind of structured storage container here is our second fairy dust color z415 I like to zoom you in on these because it is a little easier to see that way. It's a nice gray fairy dust. I love that shimmer. Ooh, long strand. <laughs> uh, next, we've got my goodness, about every shade of brown that it seems to exist in the DMC color code system. Oh, we have some light blues there. That'll be in the sky, I'm sure. And here's our third and last fairy dust color, Z159. This is kind of a, a grayish lavender, almost a bluish lavender. Really pretty. Good amounts of these special drill colors. Um, so, I'm, I mean, if I had to guess, I bet we're going to have a good amount kind of in here, like I said. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing what special drills will be found where. Oh, here's our last special drill type. This is, or special drill color. This is our second AB 109, and it's kind of a light taupe color. Really pretty iridescent coating on that one too. Then we got any of these colors that we just have the smaller amounts of. And Diamond Art Club does make all their diamonds in house, rounds, and squares. And I do find that their squares are pretty good and consistent quality wise. I find that they tend to be pretty consistent in size and shape and have a really pretty like shimmery effect once uh, you've completed your kit. So there's all the colors. Again, we had 63 colors in total. Let's uh, take a look at the canvas. We will start down here at the bottom and work our way up and I will point out to you where our special drills are. So we're gonna have the, um, it was the pale, like the beige ivory AB. We had the taupe AB, and then we had the um, the gray fairy dust, which actually, I wanna make sure I have the symbols correct for this one. Where's that strand that had it? Z145 was the gray one. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then we had kind of the lavender gray fairy dust, and then we had the kind of peach fairy dust color. Okay. So right off the bat, I do see that um, pale ivory AB color. It's it's in here. It's kind of the color between like the yellow and the blue. Um, there's that AB color, and it's actually it's throughout this reflection quite a lot, and so it's going to give that very much a shimmery effect. Uh, down here at the bottom, we do have the um, that kind of pale grayish lavender fairy dust is throughout here as well as over here. And then, let me just see. Over here, some of this confetti, some of the kind of like magic sparkles, quite a lot of this is actually that peachy fairy dust color. I'm gonna give that some glitz. And then there's some of that peachy fairy dust color right here. And let me see. Okay, make sure I'm not missing. As always, make sure I'm not missing <laughs> missing anything. If I can help it, um, let's see. As we're getting up into here, I do see the lightest color that you are seeing in camera is going to be that pale. I want to look at that color again. Uh, yeah, it was like an ivory. There's like an ivory AB color, and so again, it's all of the lightest color you're seeing where she's reaching through the portal here. There's just a ton of that ivory AB, all that lightest color. It's over here. Some of the outlining on like her glove and gauntlet. Um, and as well, there's quite a bit of the peachy fairy dust color. If you look, want to see it kind of up close, um, it's the letter X. That is that kind of peachy fairy dust. There's a lot of it, you guys. And so if you're looking at it from further away, it's going to be one of those like medium or middle orange colors, not the really dark, not the really light, uh, kind of the in-between. That's where you're going to find um, that peachy fairy dust in this area. So yeah, just like I was kind of hoping, we do have a lot of special drills specifically in here where the actual portal is going on. Also, some of the lightest sparkles over here that you're seeing is the, that's the ivory AB. Let's keep going. 
Um, over here, the surface of the water has quite a bit of that um, grayish lavender fairy dust. And this is the first place that I am seeing as well, the actual gray fairy dust and some of the beige, or sorry, some of the taupe AB is over here too. So right in that surface of the water, we're gonna find those colors, the special drill colors. And then in the night here as we're moving up, there's a bit of the ivory AB here and a little bit in here as well. And then the sprinkling here, that's all kind of that ivory AB. And then let's see, this darkest gray color you're seeing, kind of the tops of the castle, that is all that darker gray fairy dust color. And then the taupe AB is right next to it. I actually love the effect of, a, of an AB right next to a fairy dust color. I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, there's a little bit of the ivory AB actually sprinkled throughout here too. We had those two big bags of that ivory AB, so they've got to go somewhere. <laughs> Over here, the orange sprinkles you're seeing in camera, that's kind of the peachy fairy dust color. It goes all the way even up here. And let's see, in the knight's armor, there's a little bit of that uh, lavender gray fairy dust right here, and a little bit of that over here, and a little bit up here and here, and then on the top of her head. And then in a lot of similar places, we do have, there's the gray, the darker gray fairy dust color is right here, right here, and then some of this like outlining right here, this outline, and then some areas over here, including this outline, is the gray fairy dust color. I might have said fairy dust AB, fairy dust color. <laughs> um, as we keep moving up, there are some lines of the ivory AB in the clouds, kind of the lighter parts of the clouds here. There's big bunches of it right here and up here as well. There's just big bunches of it. And then these colors in the trees, there's some of that grayish lavender fairy dust to be found up here in more of these clouds we have more of that ivory ab color it's kind of going all around here and going to give just that much more shimmer to the sky so i think that's going to look really really pretty as well um i think that that will do it as far as our special drill colors go and then interestingly enough i'm just sort of chuckling i don't know if you noticed towards the end of that uh strand of diamonds we had just a little tiny bag of 310 which is black and it's just up here in this corner there's just a little corner that's the only 310 and this entire kit any of the other dark colors you're seeing are like a dark purple or a dark brown so i just think that's kind of that's kind of fun anyway that's where you're gonna find the special drills i'm a fan i'm really happy to see that there's a lot of them here specifically because i think that that is just the part of the artwork that it's really gonna just be especially uh breathtaking and apt so uh i i am really, really enjoying what I'm seeing of this one so far. And this may very well turn into a bit of a rainy day kit for me. I, like I said, I, I'm really drawn to this artwork and I even found myself kind of thinking through, and I don't typically do this to be completely honest with you, but just sort of thinking through what, um, sort of the artist may be kind of communicating like through the artwork and just sort of what I'm taking away from it. And I'm just, there's something that is really, um, it, it just is drawing me in about how it's like, it's almost like, you know, it's two sides to the same coin. It's like two sides to this person and how they can kind of like coexist. And there's a lot of like symbolism you could take from it, but I'm not going to like dive into that because I am not that kind of art expert, <laughs> but I know how it is making me feel and how much I am loving looking at it and really how much I feel like I would enjoy working on this. And I really think that I will. Um, like it's, uh, man, I'm so tempted to just like drop everything and kick this one up. But I've just come off of being like, I need a little breather from really big kids. And I just, I think that I want to make sure when I work on this, that it's a time that I'm just going to be able to absorb and enjoy it completely. So anyway, that tangent aside, let me give you a really quick recap uh, for your, you know, just for your benefit and hopefully to be helpful. Um, and you could decide, you know, is this one going to be one you're shopping for this weekend? And um, 
I'd be curious to hear if this art is, is speaking to you too. The name of this kit is Night Portal. It's by Yasu Art Studios and it is a little bit on that bigger size, 65 by 92 centimeters, but it had a good mix of color blocking and confetti, which I love. It has a total of 63 colors, including three fairy dust colors, two AB colors, and it's going to be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, March 16th, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Just a reminder that Ruby and Diamond 2 Rewards members, you do get that early access window half an hour early. You guys, please let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section. Is this one going to make your shopping list for the weekend? There are some other really beautiful kits that are being released this weekend. I had a really hard time uh, with you know having to land on just one for my sneak peek, and I will certainly be shopping alongside you for some of the other new releases. And um, let me know just what you think of this artwork too. What are you what are you taking away from it? What do you feel like the artist is communicating with it? Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that this, like I said, was helpful in helping you decide about how you wanna shop this weekend. I would invite you to subscribe if you wanna see more diamond painting content. I do a lot of reviews and unboxings and tutorials and would of course love to have you here. Thank you again for watching. I hope that you have a really fantastic weekend and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.